Welcome back to more Sip the Tally. I'm your host, Coach Evans. And today we're going to take a look at Bo Nix from the University of Oregon, now with the Denver Broncos. Now, I've been seeing a lot of people saying the Broncos have found their man. Let's temper the expectations a little bit and not put so much pressure on the young man. But let's talk about what he has done so far. Um, this last preseason game, Bo Nix jumped out there, went eight for nine, 80 yards on two drives and led one of those drives to a touchdown. But let's talk about, you know, what he's done in the past before we talk about what he did uh, this past weekend. In college, Bo Nix was one of the most accurate QBs to play the game and, and has a ton of snaps under his belt, has a ton of reps. So he's one of the most experienced college QBs to come out in a long time. Started at Auburn a long time ago and finished at Oregon. Had a great senior season at Oregon. Completed 78% of his passes, threw for over 3,800 yards, 37 touchdowns, and only two interceptions. So he was one of the most accurate QBs to play in college football last year. Now, I will say this. Oregon had a system with a lot of RPOs, a lot of uh, pre-snap reads where he got the ball out quick. He didn't have to hold the ball a lot. It, there, wasn't, there was not a lot of big throws, but he didn't have to because he was able to process stuff fast, get the ball out, and get the ball to his playmakers. One of those playmakers who's on the team with him now. Now, he was a dude in college. He's not an NFL dude yet. He may transition to that now, but Bo's probably going to get an opportunity to show what he has early in his career, and he showcased that here this past weekend. Let's get into the film and break down Bo Nix's Eight for nine performance and 80 yards, one touchdown. Welcome back to more Sip the Tally. All right, so welcome back in. And if this is your first time here, go ahead and hit that subscribe button and hit that bell so you can be notified when we drop the rest of this content throughout the 2024 draft season. I'm sorry, preseason and the 2024 season. Uh, let's get into Bo's first throw. They gave him something, you know, fairly simple. They'll play action. And keep in mind, a lot of quick throws at Oregon. A lot of RPO type stuff. You get a little play action here. The sit down right over the ball. A lot of options. And what I like about it, they're trying to keep the triangle. So he can triangle read this stuff. And the triangle will be in a bunch of different ways. Triangle read. And you just, you know, you go through your progressions. Triangle read is, is a big thing in, in Bo's progression. And you keep it where he keep, can keep his eyes in a certain area. And that's what I like about it. Makes it easy for him. Got the ball out. Quick completion. First down. Second throw. And this is four throws in a row. Four straight throws in a row in this drive. Got a little spread set. Again, simp something simple. Just sit down over the quarterback. Got stuff going on. Stuff similar to what he did at Oregon. Pre-snap reads. Pre-snap reads. You get one high look, so you can look at either cover three, cover one, you know, pre-snap, maybe post-snap, they do something different. But pre-snap, I'm looking at cover three, cover one. You know, if they change post-snap, you got to adjust. They dropped the body there, didn't do much. And again, keep in mind, so look at the sticks. It's first and 10. If I take this little throw and give me five yards, I'm looking at second and five. So there's nothing wrong with that. This is a great decision. I'm going to take this little five yards, and now it's second and five. My playbook is still wide open. My playbook is still wide open. Next play. Fake toss. A little boot action. Now, because of that boot, look at him. Wide open. Wide open. Not even a 2v1. This dude. And he just got to pick one. He just got to pick the right one. Because he's, he's already outflanked this uh, edge defender. Because he's a really good athlete. And he can throw on the run. And he can throw on the run. Picks Tim Patrick. Gets the ball out. Makes an accurate throw. Doesn't lead him too much to where this guy can kind of, you know, take him out. And he probably could have made this throw if he wanted to, but he chose Tim Patrick. No wrong decision right there. Gets the first down. Gets the first down. You never go broke taking a nickel. Never go broke taking a nickel. And this is the fourth of those four straight passes right here. Two by two. Just a little swing route to the back. Free snap. Little man, man look. Man, look. You got your two guys sitting in the box. You got your deep guy back here. So with him tucked in, if, if they can go ahead and block these guys up, he can outflank this dude, and you see what you can got. Or 
if he got to come through all this traffic to make the tackle, you still should get some positive yards. Shoot. As long as they make the top, the blocks on the outside. Now, if they make their blocks, look how far he got to come, and he got to come to make the tackle. As long as the receivers make their blocks. First down. Real simple. Real simple. All right, next drive. They didn't score on that drive. A little play action. Now, on this play action, the linebackers did not respect the, the play action at all. But look at them dropping already. They're already getting in the drops. This uh, cover two, Tampa two, because he's trying to run with that, that deep middle guy. And you just drop it all to a screen. Great ball handling by Bo Nix, too. He's a great ball handler when you're doing uh, play fakes and stuff, things of that nature. Great ball handler. Directing traffic. Yeah, good, good ball. Good ball. Good on time ball. Curl out and see. A minute ago, they tried to run Tampa 2 and had this guy to run with the seam. So they made adjustments to it. They faked like they're doing it. And when that guy opened up to, to run with him because he know he got the turn and cut loose, he just settled down. Both Knicks made a great throw on time. Okay, now I got to run. Open up. Bam. Sit down right there. Just abused them. Because they tried to do it a minute ago, so now you're going to keep trying to do it? I'm going to sit down on it. Because they know at some point that linebacker has to open up to keep running with the receiver. And so when he opens up to go full speed, the receiver just sat down in it. And great accurate throw by, by Bo. Nice. Nice. Nice little nice post. Great protection, too. Not to mention, great protection by the uh, Broncos O-line. And a good job of not leading him to, not leading him to this. Because it's going to look like it's not a good throw because this guy kind of settles and jumps. But again, if he leads him to that uh, free safety, it's a kill shot. It's a kill shot. It's a good job by both the receiver settling down and, and both throwing him not to that safety to get him murked. That's being on the same page. That's what that is. Being on the same page and learning each other. You, you do that by getting reps with each other. Being in situations and learning. And, you know, they'll come back to that later on in the season and might have the same rep versus this same look versus a different team. And they can have this to in the back of their mental roller decks to, to, to um, pull from. Let's go to this last play. I talked about his ball handling. Look at that. The show. He's going to show. That show going to bring the linebackers up. This show, look at the linebacker show. Because he's showing the ball, they all got to bite on that. And because they bite on that, that creates the leverage that this, line, this running back can get to get in the flats. They show. He's going to fight like heck to get out there because the, the running back still has the leverage. But they don't account for this dude creeping in. That's Tim Patrick again. I think he hit Patrick about four catches in, out of these eight. So he's really found a liking to hitting uh, Tim Patrick. And I'm really happy to see Tim Patrick back in the fold because he hadn't played in about two years. Happy to see him back. He's going to be uh, really probably take all those snaps Jerry Judy had. Because Patrick hadn't played in a while for, for injuries. In closing, man, I think the Broncos have found their guy. But I'm not, I'm not going to go out there and say he's going to be this all-pro, all-everything, pro bowl caliber guy. I think he fits what Sean Payton wants to do because it fits what he did at Oregon. And if they temper the play call into similar to what he did at Oregon, he's in a successful situation. So Bo Nix was out there throwing darts against Green Bay, and they left the game on a uh, high note. So if they can transition that to next week, if he plays it all next week and then into the season, they got a good thing going to just keep the snowball rolling, and if they can do that, they'll have a solid quarterback going into the season. So I didn't like how they did Russ, but it looks like they, they had a plan, and they got a guy that's going to work for their plan. And so um, shout out to the Broncos and their organization because it looks like they know what they're doing, and they got a guy. So this is Coach Evans with more Simple Tally. I hope you like what you saw. If you do, hit that like button. If you have not subscribed, go ahead and hit that bell so you can be notified when the rest of this stuff comes out. And I'll see you all soon, man. Peace and love. Enjoy the rest of y'all day.